I look at my newborn baby and I wonder what he understands. I mean, as this baby at this stage, what does he understand? Did he learn English in the womb? There are lots of English courses that teach the language. In less than nine months, plus he had total immersion. So maybe it's conceivable that what I say to him right now, he understands. I wonder why I don't remember myself at this stage. I've heard of a few people who do though, they remember being born. An eminently favorable memory for forgetting, in my opinion. But is there something wrong with memory at this stage so that it doesn't work? Perhaps he can't focus on what his eyes see and so he can make only limited sense of what he sees. He sees cloudy movements, probably. But what is stopping it from being clear? We say, oh, the brain hasn't developed its neural connections yet, blah blah blah. The point is, he is receiving frequency wave experience patterns, the same as me, now. He may not know how to interpret these frequency wave patterns, but he probably can record them in memory as some sort of amorphous phenomena. Not much, but it would constitute material for a memory. If it is true that a lame brain is the blockage, then where do these accurately real frequency waves go when they go into him? The frequency waves have not changed just because of lame brain. They pass on through, and they get trapped, like all of our experience. Wave patterns do, in the loops of memory. So there must be a pure version of these frequency wave experience patterns sitting there in his memory. We should be able to tune into such early memories because they are stored in our consciousness as experience wave patterns. So, I'm thinking, if he understands English now, and I tell him to pay attention to whatever experience he can get and watch it turn into memory, then his memory will always extend back to this point in time. But seriously, I wonder, if he understands English, what is stopping him from speaking English right now? He doesn't answer me when I say something to him, not in words. I mean, a simple yes or no would mean a lot to me. Can he do at least that much? Because I have a lot of questions for him. Number one, can you toilet train yourself starting now? I wanted to be the first to change his diaper when we brought him home, and he pissed in my face, so that affected my attitude. Number two, can you tell me what is your problem instead of just screaming incoherently? I mean, what is the point of incoherent screaming? Do you think I understand that? And the thing with the arms and legs waving madly, what is that? You look like you want to kill somebody. Now you see? Such a bad thought, and if you could just hold up one finger for bottle, two fingers for diaper, three fingers for burping, four fingers for hugging, then I would never have such a bad thought because everything would be clear to me. Number three, I want to know where you came from. Suddenly, you're a human being. What exactly happened here? Where were you before this? And why me? Why land on me? Have we met? Who are you really, and where did you come from? And why me? Is it because my Sufi George books are on Amazon.com?